So my name is Dr. Andy Letcher. I'm a senior lecturer here at Schumacher College. I'm currently the programme lead for Engaged Ecology. So Engaged Ecology is an exciting new master's programme here at Schumacher College. And it asks the question, what does it mean to be human at this time of crisis? Engaged Ecology sits within a growing academic discipline called environmental humanities. And the environmental humanities brings together the best in natural sciences, social sciences, and the humanities to ask these questions about um, who are we? What is our relationship with place? Um, how do we live together? And what are we gonna do? How are we gonna act in service of the world? Students coming on Engaged Ecology can expect uh, to do a number of things. We're unusual uh, in that we're going to centralise practice. We're going to get people to do things first and then to think about them afterwards. This is um, turning a normal academic programme on its head. So, for example, one of the things we're um, playing with at the moment is getting students to weave a piece of cloth that they've grown and prepared from seed. So a piece of linen, a piece of flax. Now, I can just uh, click on a button on the internet and magically a beautiful t-shirt or a item of clothing arrives through my letterbox. I have no idea where the cotton came from, where it was, um, where it was spun and woven and where it was dyed and what the effects of all that production were. But what happens if we, if we make an object from start to finish and really understand everything that goes into it, the making of it? How is your relationship to an object changed by the having made it. So this is what we mean by engaged ecology. We're engaging with the world and then thinking about it afterwards. We are going to engage with the world, the world about us, in a number of different ways and then reflect on the different meanings of that. So for example, we might go out into the woods here as ecologists. We might go and do some bird watching. We might go and count the number of birds. We might um, uh, test some hypotheses about the ecology of um, the surrounding countryside. With each of these methods, we're going to reflect on the meaning. Um, each one has an ontology, a worldview. Each um, places us in the world in a different way. So by studying these different ways of engaging with the world, our aim is that um, we have a better understanding of our relationship with place. Then this is all in the first term, and then in the second term, we start looking at who we are, this question of who am I? Um, who are we living together? Can we um, question our ideas of the self in order to have a more ecological self? Um, what does it mean to live together in community? And why is it that when we come together in community, we always exclude people uh, on the basis of race or gender or sexuality or ability or even species? What can we do to challenge that um, seemingly innate human tendency to ex exclude even as we include. So having looked at our relationship with place and asked who we are and who we are in relationship to others, we then ask students to say, well, what are you going to do when you leave here? And so the last talk module is really encouraging students to, to think about how they can be active in the world. Now, that might mean that you become a member of Extinction Rebellion and you're going to superglue parts of your anatomy to politicians. It doesn't have to. Um, we want to broaden and extend the definition of uh, action and activism in many, many ways. So there's a, there's a distinct learning arc where we start with this question of uh, our relationship to place and the objects we make. And then this question about who are we and then what are we going to do when we go into the world.